Hello everyone. This video is going to be how to clean the filter in the Epson LSE 100. Now, just about like any projector that has a filter, um, you should maintain that and vacuum it out, you know, every few months. Um, depends on your usage. So, um, but it's highly recommended to, um, Definitely do it because it helps maintain your fans and it, it uh, keep it nice and clean and it won't overheat in there. Um, some projectors don't have uh, filters in them. My previous projector, the Optima UHD50X, did not have a filter in there. So I did not need to clean that at all. Um, but this one I do. So it's pretty easy. Um, you just be careful. I try not to move the projector at all. Um, cause I don't feel like recalibrating it, but I can, but basically you just, um, I put my hand on the front, slowly pull off the sides and then they kind of start coming off just like that. And your filter housing is right here on the left side. So you basically just push the, a button to the right. It kind of pops down. And you slide out the housing. Um, you don't want to clean this part. You want to flip the actual um, filter over. And the side with the tabs. I don't know if you can see the tabs are this way. That's the part you want to clean right here. So then when you're done vacuuming it off. You just pop it back in there. It goes in really easy. And you just put this back into the housing right here. Just like that. And you pop up. And that's how you actually clean your filter. Um, definitely do it. The more often you do it, even if you do it once a month, um, that's even better. Because it'll keep it just clean. And you will not have any problems overheating. And then you could have even serious problems after that. So remember, clean your filter if it has a filter in your projector. Everybody have a nice day. More videos coming soon. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Talk to everyone later. This is Rob. Bye.